Okay, Spike. You know, you might get distracted by the stacks of books and copious charts, so remember what to say. Twilight, I know you're in full prep mode for Trivia Trot tomorrow, but you need to get some sleep. Huh, <laughs> nice work. You got this. <gasps> this is weird. Uh, Twilight, what are you doing? Great question, Spike. And the answer is going to bed. Brains need eight hours of sleep to perform at optimum levels. Oh, uh, cool. I thought I'd have to force you to go to bed since tomorrow is your chance to be the first pony to win Ponyville trivia three times in a row. That is tomorrow, right? The answer is yes. Ask me another one. Uh, another what? Another question. I want to stay in the zone. That way I can sleep in the zone, wake up in the zone, and be totally in the zone tomorrow. Uh, this is a whole new level of twilighting, isn't it? <laughs> the answer is yes! Are you okay? The answer is yes! Well, good night, Twilight. Good luck with your brain sleep and getting that third win. <laughs> the answer is good night and yes! That wasn't a question. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? I'm glad you decided to come watch your first trivia trot, Spike. I hope the rules aren't too confusing. Rules? Isn't trivia just asking questions and answering them? <laughs> the trot is a little more involved than that. Let's start with the first category of rules. Categories, rule one. Each category must be categorically designated and thoroughly researched in all categorical participating in trivia trot. And that wraps up rule 41.6. Of course, the exception to that, 41.6a, is interesting itself because... Oh, look, we're here. Ooh, I can't wait to see who my partner's gonna be. You don't get to pick your own team? Rule 20.16b, Spike. To keep things fair, the teams are randomly selected. 20.16b, how could I forget? And based on the regular attendees, I've charted every potential teammate's strengths and weaknesses, plus my percentage of winning with each one. Ha! I knew there'd be a chart. Glad I'm just watching. I don't think I could handle being your teammate. What if I let you down? <laughs> you can never let me down, Spike. But I'm glad you're watching, too. I'm gonna need all the support I can get for win number three. Well, well, well. If it ain't our reigning champ, think you can win again this week, Twilight? Every pony here has a different area of expertise, so it really is any pony's game. But yes! Then you better hope you get paired with me, because I am gonna rule this game! We'll just see about that. I didn't come all the way from the Crystal Empire to lose. And I hope you realize I have the highest percentage of correct answers, and I aim to keep it that way. I hope you realize not every category is gonna be spells so old not even Star's World of Bearded remembers them. I hope there's one on fur maintenance for adorable creatures, because I've been brushing up. <laughs> Technically, that was a category last week. It won't be in the game tonight. Rule 37.2c, no back-to-back -back categories, but I think Fluttershy was joking. Sure sounded like a joke to me! <laughs> Pinkie Pie? What's wrong, Twilight? I hadn't anticipated Pinkie Pie as a potential player. She's never played before. My chart is completely off. I have no way to predict what will happen, and unpredictable is not good for Trivia Trot 3 Pete. Do I have to do that thing where I list all your successes as princess of friendship to put things into perspective and remind you this is just a game? Spike! This has nothing to do with being the princess of friendship, and this is not just a game. This is Trivia Trot! Okay, settle down, everybody.
Urban Pony. I'm fixing to pick these hair tanks. Yeah! <gasps> it's starting! I have to reevaluate my chart. Spike, I need you to find the part on matchups. Can you look outside? What'd I miss? Granny's about to call out the fifth team. Sunburst gave me the highest chance of winning, but he's been paired with Cranky Doodle. Hmm. Yes, At least Rainbow Dash and Applejack aren't together. Team Apple Dash is basically unstoppable. And a part they'll spend all their energy trying to one-up each other, so that only helps my chances. Let's do this! Yeah! Eh, not every team is a threat, but there aren't many ponies left. All righty, hold on to your horseshoes. Because the next pair of players is... Maud and Mudbriar! What's wrong? Maud and Mudbriar have been paired together every week. It's a statistical improbability, which would be fine if they weren't so good. <sighs> oh, no! According to my calculations, the only pony who could really threaten my winning streak is... And our final pair of contestants for this week's trivia drop is... Twilight! Guessing the one pony who could mess up your winning streak is Pinky. Twilight! I can't believe we're partners! What a game! I love games! And I'm super duper excited for this game because it'll be my first time ever playing and then I get to play it with you, which makes it even funner! Twilight and Pinky Pie forever! Ooh, we can be Team Twinkie! Or <gasps> Team Pink Like oh, Sparkle Pie! No, 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 no! <gasps> Twi Pie! <laughs> Pinky, I I'm glad you're excited. But tonight's game is special. I could be the first pony ever to win three consecutive trots in a row. And I'm really hoping I do. You don't have anything to worry about. I'll do everything I can to be the bestest and most funnest teammate ever. So, still think you can win? <sighs> I know I can. Pinky might not be the partner I expected, but I can coach her along. And besides, I'm pretty good at this game. If she misses a few, I'm sure I can pick up the slack. Let's get this party started! <laughs> now, the first order of business is we need some pony to keep score. I'll do it! <laughs> I'm not sure you want to take that job, Spike. The scorekeeping could get a mite intense. Yeah, Starlight used to do it, but now... I can't even say the word trivia around her. <laughs> Apple Bash, don't let them scare you. You'll be fine. Now, let the games begin! <laughs> get ready to get squished! Hey, don't copy me! The first category is literary figures. <laughs> Ooh, a category about books. We're off to a great start. <clears throat> Who is the pony that despises the holiday season in the old classic, A Heartwarming Tale? The answer is no pony, because every pony ends up loving the holiday with singing, festive cakes, and thoughtful presents. Well, as much as that ain't exactly wrong, it ain't exactly right neither. <laughs> Just doing my job, Twilight. Uh, sorry, I didn't know we could have negative points. It's fine, Pinky, but maybe it'll help our chances if I coach you as we go. Tip one, try sitting still. I can do, Coach Twilight. And don't get distracted or be distracting. Oh, and remember to listen carefully. Also, it's best to keep quiet between questions. Got it. Sitting still, sitting still, sitting Which still. Which topographical locale used to be a cavern? But after thousands of years of erosion, is now a gorge. Pinky, what? The answer is... <laughs> 
the ghastly gorge. That is 100% correct! Category is apples. Red. I didn't hear you complain when the category was Wonderbolt history. But th that's that's totally different. Okay, Pinky. Remember the category is apples. Keep your mind on apples. 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 Ooh, and oranges and grapes and strawberries. Oh, strawberry cupcakes! I'm hungry. Which variety of apple? Only blooms for five days. Don't joke. Now, why would I joke on a question about apples? Uh, what was the question again? You kidding me? Come on, Pinky, you know this one. Mysterious apples, only around for five days. <gasps> Quiet down there. Pretty sure there's a rule against tummies ringing in. Um, I'm just guessing, but is it Zap Apples? Finally! Yes, Fluttershy, it is! Or at least some pony here knows they're apples. Pinky well enough for us to get my three feet. I don't want her to feel bad. She's trying so hard, but I might have to start answering everything myself. Look, Twilight. No more belly growl interruptions for Team Twi Pie. Maybe instead of focusing on Pinky, you should just focus on how you're playing. Or I should look at how every pony else is playing. Hope you're all in your seats, because the break is over, and it is time. More questions. Let me see. How do you say reward in old ponyish? <gasps> reward in old ponyish is heat. Correct. Slipe! Um, Sunburst's partner is sleeping, and according to Rule 57.6, sleeping at the table is subject to a disqualification. But well, looky here, that's an actual rule. Cranky is disqualified. I'm sorry, Sunburst, without your teammate, you can't play neither. Oh, fine. But I'm counting that as a correct answer. <laughs> Stay awake for five minutes. Don't worry, Pinky. We're not out of this game yet. <gasps> Is the answer carrot? Ah! Rule 13.2! No help from pets! <laughs> Rule 72.8! No sticking tongues out at opponents! Motion to establish new rule, no expressionless contestants. Nice try. Fine. The next category is... Cupcakes! <gasps> Twilight! I know all about those! You have to let me help! <sighs> sure! Just when we're finally back in the game. <laughs> Why, that sounds perfect, Pinky Butt! Ooh! Isn't that a confetti appreciation parade I see? Where? What flavor cupcakes did Princess Celestia order for Princess Luna's surprise birthday party last year? Wait, what? Double midnight chocolate fudge with chili pepper frosting. Sorry, Pinky, but you were looking at the parade and I didn't want our team to miss out on the point. Guess that makes sense, but what kind of that confetti parade go anyway? 1547, Pony B. Van Hoover! Kitty Box! Bananas! The category is... Stone. I don't know anything about those. That's not any kind of category. 
technically, it's a kind of category where we know the answers and you don't. <gasps> don't worry, fellow Twi-Pi. I grew up on a rock farm. I'm sure I know some of these. <laughs> what kind of stone can be used to start a fire? The black one! The answer is flint. Yeah, that one! We both get points, right? Sorry, Pinky. Rule four. Answers must be specific and exact. I'd help you if I could. I know this category pretty well. Gee, Pinky, I forgot the name of that famous rock in Griffinstone. Could you ask Maud? You got it! Hey, Maud! What's the name of the famous rock in Griffinstone? Pinky, you can't ask me that. You can't go and ask another player about rocks when that's the category. It's in the rule book. Uh, sorry, Pinky, but you're disqualified. What? I can't believe I'm disqualified. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pinky. I guess I forgot about that rule. Oh, no! If I'm out, you don't have a partner. You won't be able to get your third Actually, since there's another player who has also had his teammate disqualified... Rule 19.7b, whereby players whose teammates were disqualified may form a new team. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just cheer you on from over there. Mm. The next category is Ancient Legends. Oh, we're gonna crush this round. Yeah, I don't know, Twilight. You've seen Matt of the Zone today. But don't worry, I can pick up the slack. What? I am the reigning trot champ. If there's any slack that needs picking, I'll be the up. I mean, wait. I'm just saying, you seem a little frazzled, and I do have a correct answer percentage to maintain. Who traveled to Equestria from a distant land seeking to steal the magic from its pony inhabitants? That would be Lord Tirek. Technically, that answer is incomplete. The answer is Lord Tirek and Scorpan. But Scorpan tried to convince Tirek not to do it, so technically he wasn't part of it, even if it started out. Uh, never mind. Look, Sunburst, I realize I may have been a little off earlier, but I'm really good at this game. How many holes are there in Daring Do's hatch? Twenty! Correct! <laughs> Twilight? I knew that one! You just cost us a point and the correct answer I needed to boost my percentage! Well, I knew it too! You're not the only pony to ever read a book, you know. You're right, Twilight. I'm sorry, but now that I think about it, I'm not so sure about Dash's answer. Could you do a quick fact check? Oh, I know it's 20, but if you want proof... Wait, according to Rule 18.3, I can't check outside reference material. <sighs> Are you trying to get me disqualified? What kind of pony would do that to their own teammate? You're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. I was so focused on my correct answers, I, I wasn't thinking straight. Can you forgive me? It's okay, Sunburst. I understand. And I have a teammate of my own to apologize to. Lucky for you, Cranky's awake. And according to Rule 57.6b... Players previously disqualified for sleeping may rejoin the game, provided they're well-rested. Yeah, where am I? What time is it? Where are my morning hay cakes? Pinky, you were the best teammate I could ask for. But I let wanting to win keep me from seeing that. I knew you wanted to win, but I probably could have helped a little. And even if I couldn't. We still could have had fun. I'm so sorry for not realizing it. I got so obsessed with one thing, I forgot what really mattered. 
No, that doesn't sound like you at all. Well, win or lose, nothing is more important than my friend or my team. Twi Pie forever? I, I don't know. I understand. I guess even the Princess of Friendship can mess things up with her friends. Oh, it's not that. It's just that I already changed it to Team Twipers. Now I guess I should change it to Sun Doodle? Actually, I have a better idea. According to Rule 13.2, players can join the game at any time, provided they start from zero. Wow, these rules are really convoluted. But doesn't starting from zero mean we'll lose? Well, our chances aren't good, but the odds of having fun on Team TwiPi are 100%. What is the name of the Ponyville Day Spa's most popular candle? Competitive, Competitive Library Max. Musk. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Thank you.